Welcome to another vlog. So today I'm just going to be talking to you about some things that really matter to me and I think it's it's best to be it's best to share it with you because some of you might need to hear this. I, I just really realize how time flies so fast. It's already August that means that um, half of the year has passed and we have a few months left before 2016 will end. As I think of everything that happened for the first half of the year, I realized that a lot of great things actually happened and there were also bad things. Nevertheless, both are really necessary. It's part of the process. Past few months have been very, 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 very colorful. Emotionally, financially, physically, um, spiritually and mentally, I have been very, very challenged. And uh, I'm so glad that I was able to overcome all of those things. And I'm only talking about the 2016. There's a lot more that I've gone through in the past years, but let's just focus on the one that we have this year. So allow me to share to you a couple of things that help me in my life in, in overcoming obstacles and challenges, trials, testings, name it, whatever you call it. Let me share them to you and I hope that this can be very helpful for you in your life. Overcoming challenges is not really easy. Most of us would really most of us would really want to just give up. I have felt that a couple of times. In fact, there were a lot of times in the past when I thought of committing suicide. Yeah. Let's talk about that some other time. And right now let me just uh, share to you the things that I did the things that I've learned and the things that I'm still doing to overcome challenges made me small challenges or big challenges and it really helped me rise above my circumstances so I hope that this can also help you so the first thing that I did was just to really seek God just be quiet if you notice if you're if you know me you'd notice maybe that I did shut down my Facebook a lot of times those moments are the moments that I just really want quietness and peace because you know the world is so noisy the society is telling you a lot of things it's, it's really noisy out there just you know just just be quiet just spend time quiet time with God alone secondly write things down so I have these I love writing things down so that there's a lot of things in your head whether it's a it's a problem to be solved or a reminder or things to buy things to do might as well write them down if you don't want to write them down I think you can make use of your smartphones or your iPads you know if you're the techie person but me I love writing so that's why I collect notebooks be grateful the very moment we wake up in the morning should be the first thing that we should be thankful for be grateful that you're still breathing you no know, I that's that's actually one thing being grateful I and mean, it's one thing that that I never had in the past I was the type of person who was always negative who who always complain and it was a long process even until now there are times and I had to remind myself that everything in this world is temporary and I should be grateful that I'm given the opportunity to be part of a bigger thing. Don't be scared. Embrace your fear. It's all worth it. And then keep going. Giving up is not an option. We are to finish the race and to finish it well. It's never about how we start but how we finish. Whatever it is that's stopping you, get up, rise above it, and keep going whatever challenges you have it's only temporary so I hope what I mentioned that the things that I mentioned will be able to help you overcome whatever challenges you're going through today okay I think that's it so we'll see you again in the next video bye